Bienvenido de la basura del avance de la película. Avance? Okay. It's, it's the holdovers. Sir, I don't understand. That's glaringly apparent. I can't fail this class. Oh, don't sell yourself short, Mr. Coates. I truly believe that you can. Every year at Barton Academy, students, faculty, and staff depart the campus for... It's, it's that voice again. We got the got the voiceover guy back. Uh, a voiceover guy, rather. Um, I actually saw this trailer at a movie I went to see. I can't remember which one at this point. But um, it actually looked interesting, so I'm glad I found it. Otherwise, I would have completely forgot about it, um, which I did until I was looking up trailers. Anyway... Uh, I like the style of this, and the voiceover guy being there has a lot to do with it. See, see if you can catch it. For a two-week winter break, but there are always an unfortunate few who have nowhere to go for the holidays. They're known as the holdovers. Mr. Hunnam. Hello, Mary. I heard you got stuck with babysitting duty this year. How'd you manage that? You know, he used to be a student, right? Yeah, that's why he knows how to inflict maximum pain on us. I thought all the Nazis were hiding in Argentina. Stifle it, Tully. It's <laughs> a good line. Uh, this style of trailer, I don't even know if I find the movie itself, the story of it, that interesting, but just the style of it, the like, you know, you have those period piece movies where you, you go back to the 40s or you go back to the 50s. Fucking, now we're going back to like the 60s and 70s. This is like uh, Animal House type stuff this is awesome i like this look it it looked better in theaters but it's very grainy like i don't know if it's an effect or if they literally used like cameras equipment from that decade but uh yeah it's just really really cool i like this this idea again you get period pieces where you know you try to emulate styles of you know grindhouse with tarantino and all that kind of stuff but never you know, never these old, uh, you know, uh, what's like, what's the genre? What's the word? It's just like, you know, revenge of the nerds. And I guess college is what a lot of these take place in. But that, that idea, that style, it's, it's cool. I like it. You just earned yourself a detention, sir. Being here with you is already one big detention. Son of a bitch, that's another detention. Do you think I want to be babysitting you? No, I was praying your mother would pick up the phone or your father would arrive in a helicopter or a flying saucer. My father's to take you dead. Up. You don't tell a boy that's been left behind at Christmas that nobody wants him? <laughs> Something about that sudden tone shift. <laughs> Like, my father's dead. Somber <laughs> music. I, I don't know if that was meant to be funny, but this is pretty good. Also, just Paul Giamatti. Like, I love this guy. I don't even know why. It's never. There's. I can't name a single movie that I like a lot that he was in, but just stuff he's in, I, I just enjoy the fact that he's in it. You know, does that make sense? Like, he's a favorite actor, but not because of what he was in, but just because of just him. I don't know. It's weird. What's wrong with you? There's nobody here, okay? So you stay out of my way, and I'll stay out of yours. Let me sleep. In the now, most of the kids dislike you, pretty much hate you. Teachers, too. You know that, right? I find the world a bitter and complicated place, and it seems to feel the same way about me. I think you and I have this in common. I don't think I've ever had a real family Christmas like this before. Thank you, Mary. You're welcome. And going back to the whole like style of this, I guess you could argue um, Wes, oh, I almost said Wes Craven, Wes Anderson kind of does that sort of style, but it's more his own kind of look in Wes Anderson movies, you know, with this, it's, I don't know, it just, it really encapsulates that era of movies specifically, but yeah, I don't know what it is about it. But I mean, mostly it's the film green. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's so weird. I don't know why I'm just so enraptured by this. History is not simply the study of the past. It is an explanation of the present. See, when you say it that way and throw in some pornography, it's a lot easier to understand. Yeah. No matter what you are. 
I'd like to propose a toast to my two unlikely companions. Are you trying to lick down my shirt? No. <laughs> yes. You're gonna get me fired. This is your Rubicon. Do not cross the Rubicon. The Holdovers. Yeah, I, I mean, just that face. How could you not? But again, the the idea is, eh, you know, it, it seems... Uh, it, at first, I was thinking comedy, even though I, I've actually seen this trailer beforehand again at a movie theater. At first, I was thinking comedy like those old, like, frat movies, like Animal House, like Revenge of the Nerds. Um, but I guess this is also more heartfelt. You know, it's not as much risque humor kind of thing there's some of that's in there but it's not the identity of the movie uh or at least according to the trailer so yeah, it's it's a, it's a little not what i was thinking when i first saw it um and it may not be when it comes out it may just be a stylistic choice but wholly its own uh, story and idea you know not it's it's taking it's taking from those old films style wise but not the 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 meat of it you know story wise anyway i'm rambling let's check out the comments i love the fact that this is filmed like a movie in the 60s 70s ah i, I, was just, I always have to point out the comments that make the same observations i do because again i'm the only one who notices these things so it's crazy that other people do right i love the feeling of this movie like it came out 40 years ago and is getting re-released so happy to see Paul Giamatti in good roles. Man, I love him. Ah, yeah, again. See, that's that's less of an obvious observation. I'm glad I'm not the only one who just unconditionally loves <laughs> Paul Giamatti. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll even go up to bat for Paul Giamatti as the rhino in Amazing Spider-Man 2. Yeah, it was 2. You know, people, people shat on that movie... I still don't even understand why exactly people didn't like that movie so much. I mean, yeah, Shocker is a, or not Shocker, Electro is a shitty Spider-Man villain to base a movie on. I agree, but I don't know. I, I, I like this. I, I like the, the idea of, you know, there's going to be more villains. The Sinister Six is going to is gonna be there eventually. And, and the Rhino in modern times, these modern times we live in, yeah, he'd just be a dude in a, in a, tank essentially <laughs> so yeah i paul giamatti i enjoy so much i'd even say he'd make a great rhino in that same costume where's that movie sony come on i'm a simple dude i see paul giamatti and i click this was an excellent two minute movie they should make a longer version should win an award for short films or something yeah see i don't know i i assume this is a joke on the fact that this trailer sort of said at all like what's gonna happen what what the idea of it is but i don't know it's it seems more of a story that's about the characters and how they become friends and you know there's there's still more to say about the kid with his dead father and what he's going through paul giamatti's character is seems like a cynical person why you know we, we don't get that from the trailer there's still more you could build on and it seems like the kind of story that allows for you to know okay this is well and also it's fairly obvious it's gonna happen you know a situation like this so you can give that away but it's the nuances it's the how and the why that you still keep in and you know leave for people to see i feel there are two replies to this uh, and I'm really hoping one of them is somebody being like, it's a trailer. It's not a short movie. Wham. Let's, let's check it out. I agree. They gave away the whole thing in the trailer. Lol. I think it was a strategic choice. Half or more of the people potentially interested in seeing the movie don't want to spend their money on a bait and switch. Yeah, that's also a good point, actually. You know, I joke about and having this trailers just straight up showing things that are going to happen at the end. But, yeah, I mean, trailers are kind of there to bring people to the theater. So you kind of want to make sure that they're going to get what they want. So you're going to show them as much as you can. 
But still, in some instances, like, uh, King of Killers, you know, like, showing the dude, the main bad dude, straight up get shot, like, yeah, it's kind of stupid. Off topic a little, I know, but I speak as both an Englishman and a man who has armed many a king. But in my opinion, the most chilling, most realistic depiction of a medieval English king in cinema, full stop, was when this fine American Paul Giamatti played King John in Ironclad. As a consequence, I will go out of my way to see what other magic he can perform. By comparison, many other actors seem to be... Co oh. Content to just phone it in. Respect GB Swords US. Oh, Great Britain Swords US. You you armed many a king? The fuck does that even mean? Uh, on that note, though, yeah, I, I'd also want to see Ironclad. Um, and I did catch this the same director who did Sideways, which is an, another Paul Giamatti movie, which I haven't seen. So, again, it's weird that I like him so much. I mean, Lady in the Water was, I'd argue, a good movie in some regards. Like the fact that it has Paul Giamatti. Anyway, <laughs> this, is, this has gone off the rails. Uh, this was Trailer Trash. Uh, hope you enjoyed, and uh, vaya con Dios.